Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to properly groom your rabbit and I'm really going to go over everything you need to know and it's just going to be a very in-depth video. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how often should you groom your rabbit. Well, if you have a baby bunny that hasn't gotten its adult fur coat in yet, then you only want to groom it about once every two weeks for about five minutes just so it can be, you know, used to the comb going through its fur or used to the nail clippers or used to being handled because that will really help in the long run. And if you have an adult rabbit, you want to groom it about once every week for about 15 minutes. Now what you will need for grooming your rabbit is a comb. I like to use the fur buster because it has a purple rubber band that runs through it and it really helps grip the rabbit's fur, but it's also very gentle for your bunny. And then next you'll need is some nail clippers. I got these off of Amazon. They are very good and they were only like, I think $5. Really highly recommend them. And then some form of treat. I'm going to be using Forge Mix, and I'll make some of these products down in the description if you would like to check them out yourself. So when it's actually time to start grooming your rabbit, you're going to want to place them on a coffee table or something elevated to prevent your rabbit from like running around. Now my rabbit is on top of a little towel just so it's not like slipping and falling all over the place and it really helps with the grooming process. Now, when you want to take your comb, you're going to want to brush your rabbit's fur along with its like natural hair growth to prevent any like irritation and it also helps get the most amount of fur out. Now, you want to be very careful and not tug at your rabbit because rabbit's skin is very sensitive. So, you really want to make sure you're kind of going not down like this but at a slight angle, but not completely flat so you can get that fur. Now, when grooming them, you really just wanna groom their entire bodies, their head, their back, their little bun, and basically everywhere that they have fur. I also wanna mention that holding their heads down slightly helps with grooming because it makes them less likely to run everywhere. Now, when you're holding them down, you wanna do a very light pressure where if they really wanted to, could just like run away. So I'm just letting you guys know that. So when it's time to start clipping your bunny's nails, I know a lot of people can get nervous because if they clip too far, you can actually cause your rabbit to start to bleed. So basically, I don't want to cut the quick because that can start the bunny's nails to start bleeding, but you can kill it like the white slash clear part. Now, if your rabbit has black nails and you can't really tell where the clip is, you can always use like a flashlight or the light from your phone to shine on the bunny's nails so you can see where that quick is. So when I actually start clipping my bunny's nails, I like to start with the front paws because I find that easier. Then once I clip the front paws, I will have my mom or my sister hold the bunny for me, um, supporting the butt, so I can clip his, the hind legs. And this is just the easiest method for me. Now, if your rabbit has like, a lot of fur and it's hard to find like where the nail even is, then I recommend like getting your fingers a teeny bit wet, like, and using that to just kind of brush back the bunny's fur with your wet hands to kind of help you find those nails. I can't stress this enough, but grooming is very important. If you don't groom your rabbits often enough, they can get stringed peas, which is kind of poops linked together with hair. They can go into GI stasis and because there's fur clogging their stomachs. Now, the reason this is so dangerous is because bunnies cannot throw up. Like cats, cats can like, clean themselves, but they can cop up those fur balls. Bunnies cannot do that, so anything that goes down stays down. So, to prevent any like digestive issues, I will feed them these treats. They're digestive biscuits. Um, by Oxbow. I like these a lot because my rabbits absolutely are obsessed with them and they're beneficial to help with the digestive system. 
one so i really recommend getting these if you have a rabbit so thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed and learned something from these tips um please share like and subscribe bye